If you're struggling with your biology revision, in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through my favorite revision technique, which is flashcards. Flashcards are, in my opinion, the best active recall strategy to help you to remember the key information and key marking points for A-level biology. But the key is making sure that you make your flashcards correctly and that you use them correctly. So that's exactly what I'm gonna walk you through, how to make and use effective flashcards to help you improve your grade as much as possible for A-level biology. Plus, I'll be sharing with you a massive time saver with this as well in a few minutes within this video. So first of all, let's start with creating effective flashcards. And flashcards should just have key concepts or short answer questions on them. What you need to avoid doing is trying to turn YouTube videos like mine or your notes into flashcards by simply writing basically a set of notes, but on a teeny weeny little card. That's not the point of flashcards. The most effective flashcards have very little on each card. So you might just have on your card on one side, osmosis, for example, and on the other side, literally the definition of osmosis. Now this is one thing that you could do to create your flashcards is have a selection of key terms and then on the other side have definitions. Or you could also have short answer questions. So you might have questions such such as what are the four levels of organizations in proteins? And then on the other side of your card, you'd have primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary structure. But whether you're going for key terms and definitions or short answer questions or a mixture of the two, the main thing is making sure you are being really specific and only including one concept per card. The important reason for that is flashcards are really good at identifying what you do and don't remember. So you can prioritize your time on what you don't remember. So if you have more than one definition or question or concept per card, you're not actually distinguishing which part of that card is it that you don't remember. So don't cram on too much on one card for that exact reason. Another really effective card for flashcards is diagrams. So you might have different structures that you need to know. So you might have uh, what does a chloroplast look like? And then on the other side, you've got an image and you could use that card either way round because you could have a look at the picture and test do you know what it's a structure do you know which organella it is and then flip it round or like you can see here in my flashcards you could have the diagrams representing the different levels of organizations in proteins so that's how you make your flashcards but i did say i would have a super time saver for you and that is if you didn't already know i actually make a level flashcards already and i've got them for aqa and ocr currently and these flashcards cover all of the key terms and key marking points that you need to know for the theory so if you want a ready-made set of flashcards which you can see students absolutely love and have made huge amounts of progress from using them then the link is in the description below so step two you've now got your set of flashcards either created or you've saved yourself hours of time and you've used mine and now the next thing is how to use your flashcards effectively so the first thing to consider when using your flashcards is the concept of spaced repetition now you should do this with all types of revision but spaced repetition basically means exactly what it says. You should space out when you revise the same theory. And that's the key thing, it's reviewing the same theory. And that's what the repetition part is. So you might use your flashcards for biological molecules on Monday, and then you space it out and don't have a look again until Wednesday. But it's still you're repeating biological molecules on Wednesday, and then you repeat it on Friday, Saturday, whatever it might be. But you need to space out at intervals, repeatedly testing yourself on the same topic. Now with that, to be really efficient with your time, you can use something called the Leitner system, which is where you don't do every single card every single time that you are repeatedly using them. And instead you split your cards into piles for the cards you got correct, the cards you got wrong. The cards you got wrong, you should review more often. The cards you got correct, you review less often. And in that way you are prioritizing your time, spending more time testing yourself on the cards you didn't remember, and therefore you will improve your long-term memory of those cards rather than spending time or lots of time on the cards that you already knew because that's clearly one 
that you've already remembered. Now, active recall is the key way to improve your long-term memory. And what this means is you are actually testing yourself that you remember the information. And flashcards are a brilliant way to do active recall, but only if you are properly testing yourself with these cards. And this is where doing it in pairs can be really good. Because if one of you asks a question or says to find this, or can you recognize this image, then the other person has to say and get it spot on correct to get that card. And in this way, you are actively testing yourself. You can do this by yourself, but make sure you are doing it properly and you're not just flicking through the cards, seeing this is the key word, this is the definition, this is the key word, this is the definition. You have to literally test do you know the definition. The final really important step to using flashcards is to shuffle them. And that's because your brain will start to just memorize the order that the cards come in. So you can have it on either way to test do you know the definition or can you recognize the key word from the definition being read out. So that is it. Flashcards are such a powerful tool if made correctly and used correctly. So try making your own flashcards using this method or use the link in the description below to use my tried and tested flashcards. And if you do want more help with study tips, then check out this video next. But that is it for today. Let me know what your favorite type of revision is in the comments and I'll see you next week.